welcome to the next episode of Build the Millennium Falcon, issues 44 and 45. Um, I am back <laughs> after a long time off. I couldn't have picked a worse time to be off. All that hype for Force Awakens and the opening and all of that bypassed this channel because I have, <laughs> haven't been able to upload videos. So that is a tad annoying, but I am back now. Happy 2016. Um, yeah, so in my downtime, this happened. Well, fans across Wiltshire went to late night screenings of the film. I was there as well and spoke to some fans shortly before they took their seats. I think I've been excited for the past year. Oh since gosh, the first, more than that. Well, since the first trailer <laughs> dropped about a year ago, I think I've been pretty much talking about it non-stop. Now, look, I have to say, I'm not a fan. Just sum it up. You know, what is it about Star Wars that makes you here at this hour of the day? I don't know what it is. It's the story. And it's, we were just talking about it, actually. The music of the Star Wars films is pretty iconic. Um, even the prequels had fantastic music, which, which maybe not saved it, but helped. Yeah, the story, the characters, I mean, I've grown up with it. I've played the games and... And, and Shelley? I'm just tagging along with his enthusiasm <laughs> at the moment. So hang on a minute, you're here, you're here not because you like it, you're here because he said, please come with me and don't let me be here in the cinema on my own. Maybe. No, I mean, I watched them as a kid and I've got fond memories, but um, I really have been dragged along. Yeah. So this is love, isn't it? <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it oh, really yeah. is, it really is. I mean, he's been so excited, and I really hope it's good. Please be good. <laughs> if it's not good, Christmas is ruined. Yeah, Christmas is ruined <laughs> if this isn't a good film. Yeah, you can say that now, yeah. And, and Shelley, if it's a bad film? I'm so worried. <laughs> I mean, he's going to be really upset. <laughs> How will I cope? I don't know. I will console him and um, look, I want it to be good too. I really, really do. Uh, cinema girls last night who were, were there. Yes, me and my partner were on the radio for the midnight showing of Force Awakens. Um, she was lying. She was playing it up for the radio. She did want to go, I promise. It wasn't just a tag along thing for her. Um, and since then, I've seen it twice more, so three times all in all, and I really want to see it again. It's a fantastic film. But I'm going to stop waffling and I'm going to Crack on with what I know what you've been eager to see for so long now. Um, so yeah, let's get going. Okay, so the first pieces that we're going to look at in this video are these two massive pieces here, which are more hull, plate, more hull plating for the bottom of the hull. Can't even get them all on uh, camera. Basically, these parts just attach to um, the hull plating that we already have and also the uh, metal framework that we have installed. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that now. So the next thing I'm going to look at is the turret wells for the gun controls for the uh, turret gun, which you can see just here. Um, I have already made them up for instructions on how to make them up. Please go see my earlier video with issue 41 inside it. And I've done a little bit more than nothing at all to um, these to weather them slightly. So as you can see, if I swing these around here, I've added just a few kind of outside parts. I've left the interior is pretty much the same. Um, the chairs are missing, I'll come into those in just a little moment. But I've yeah added a little bit of piping, just this thing here and this tube piece here. It might look a bit naff um, as it is, but if we just attach it very quickly onto the gun turret, you'll see that it adds just a little bit of texture. You see that tube in there just goes off as this wire does too. And uh, yeah, just a little bit of texturing to the inside. It is already quite dark in there, but it is going to be lit up with the LED. Um, I just wanted to do something to make it look like I've done some work on it and to give it kind of a more um, uh, cohesive to the rest of the Falcon, if you know what I mean. The rest of the Falcon is going to be heavily weathered, so I wanted these parts to be too. 
Um, so those are the actual wells. And as for the, um, <clears throat> the chairs, I painted them this flat black to start with. Um, so all of that um, worry about glue spillage and things like that looking glossy uh, has all gone because I decided to paint them. So I paint them a flat black, which has come out really, really, really nicely. And then if I just get the other one here, the finished one, I've added the same kind of paint details to the cockpit uh, as the cockpit chairs. Um, I haven't done the back cockpit chairs yellow. I kept them white. As you can see, it's the same for this. Um, I've added a bit of weathering. Um, I'm going to do a bit more weathering and, and tidy up the lines, I think. I've also added red to this um, Navi computer thing here. It's probably more targeting computer, actually, isn't it? Um, so, yeah, I'm going to paint this one up exactly the same way. And then, of course, when it's in the well... Uh, when it's in the well, if I can get it in the well, it will look something like that. So yeah, it just a little bit of extra colour, a bit of weathering, adds a little bit of texture to it all, um, and I'm quite happy with how it came out. Um, I can't wait to get these plugged in to see it all lit up. Um, so um, yeah, that's not, not much else to say for the um, gun turret wells here. On to the next part. Okay, so the other parts you get with issue 44 are these pieces here. So start off with this one, which I love the grating work on this. Very, very nice, different uh, looking texture to what we're used to. And this circle bit here. We also get this sprue tree here. with Lots of different parts that will attach onto this part. And also we get this piston shaped piece here. And this flat bit of plastic here. Now remember all the parts for these two issues are for the bottom back end of the Falcon. So that's where they're going to ultimately end up. So let's start, first of all, with cutting out this piece here. Just like so. And once again, I'm just going to go file it down. There we go there. And you'll see in this piece that there are two different sizes of peg, a bigger one here and a little one here. And you just put them into the smaller peg hole there and the bigger peg hole there. I know it's blurred, sorry about that. But you'll just pop them in like so, and it's a very nice fit. Um, oh, the blurred, the blurred, sorry. Pop it in like that with a bit of glue, and then those are those pieces put in. And in that cut there, I just attached a bit of glue to that part, so now that is secure. Okay, the next part is this piece here, kind of a weird um, X shape. Oops, just not the camera, very professional. And then this part goes next to it. It's got a bigger and a smaller peg as well. This goes into next into the part that we just did, like so, like that. The next part is this piece here. Now this piece is very delicate. As you can see, I already have, I have already bent it out of shape ever so slightly, and that's just from cutting it off the sprue. I'm just going to bend that back into shape just a little bit more. Um, and then this piece um, has a smaller peg there, hole there, and a bigger peg hole there, and just attaches like that. So it does connect to, oops, sorry, it's focused. So it does connect to the piece that you've already done. Come on, HD. There we go. And um, at this stage, it will look something like that. And so for the sake of time and enjoyment, I have uh, just gone ahead and attached the last few bits along this bottom side here. It is very self-explanatory where they go in. So that is the side of this piece done. Um, now the rest of it, um, comprises of these little tube parts here. So we've got this tube part here, and there's two tube part here, and also one tube part here. Again, quite self expansion on where they go. This one has a bigger circle and a little circle, so it will go just on there, like so. Oops. And then this one has two small holes, so it will go into these two small holes. Yeah, like so. And then the singular tubing part, swing it around, there's a hole just there for that hole, uh, for that tube part there. And they will go in there like so. Okay, so the last part to go on uh, this part here is this part here, which is an odd looking shape um, piece. And you can see there's a couple of ridges there and they correspond with the little ridge line just there. I don't know if you can see it. There's like see the little ridge line there. So it just will go 
in there like oh like so something like that have a look at that there we go there um it is actually raised slightly um so that is why it is a separate part i'm a bit worried about these parts they seem a little too high and i have a feeling actually that's quite secure but they might snap off so that is something to be wary of that these um five kind of chimney parts here and this part here might snap off especially that bit as well um so something something to be wary of but that is that part all finished and the part you get in issue 45 is exactly the same just the mirror image so you can see that those two pieces there are literally the same but the mirror image this is being myself now apart from this part on the issue 45 part the uh, raised part curves on this one for this one oh it's this side it's just straight and you just attach that on there like so there like that get some focus in on this so it's just flat on this side and it's curved on that side but that is the only difference um yeah exactly the same um now you are left with a couple of pieces um left over on the sprue uh, it's exactly the same piece issue 44 and issue 45 there um keep hold of these because we'll be needing these a little later on okay so the next part of this build requires this piece here uh, which looks a little bit like the top of an ATST, if you really think about it, probably really, really quite hard. Um, and also the parts on this sprue here. So I'm just going to start speeding this up and continue with making this. finished now uh, these holes either side I'm not sure if they're meant to be like that or we'll get pieces in the future um, yep no idea and also there's quite a few bits left on the sprue which I guess we'll use at a later date as well including these two bits here this bit here and this bit here so uh, I'm going to put that to one side for now and um, yeah that is what the piece looks like when it's all finished so I'm gonna weather this piece up now just like with the other two pieces and when I've done all three of them I'll be right back with you and here are the pieces all weathered up so as you can see I've uh, put some dirt on them uh, some kind of so it looks like it's it's thick with with space dust from the asteroids things like that um, just a whitewash with a bit of um, pa uh, weathering powder inside it and it's really come out well I like the way that there's all dirt and grime inside all the creases and along the bottom very happy with how they've come out very similar for this one just very dirty very grimy um you know like the falcon should be um yeah just a lot of dots of dirt things like that yeah very happy with how that came out um so yeah so now that weathering is done and uh, everything else is done there's only one more thing left to do really and here is the back bottom end of the falcon all finished um looking really nice with these these 3d elements now and the mechanical work here just adds so much it's nice to see a bit of weathering on the falcon i can't wait to do the rest of it like that actually the weathering parts have kind of come out a little bit whiter than the cream of the parts that they are originally um i don't mind that as much because i kind of like the idea of a whiter falcon i mean the the color of the falcon is a hotly contested thing so i'm not going to get drawn into that now but yeah very happy with how that came out can't wait to get the rest of it done especially with these tea pots um here They're, it's going to look really good very excited about that but for now that's the end of the video not much else to say so i will see you next time until then take care Bye bye.